Scenario 1. You are working on an Angular application that is becoming increasingly complex. How do you ensure the code base remains maintainable and scalable? The answer is to ensure the code base remains maintainable and scalable, I would follow the best practices of Angular, such as creating small and reusable components, using services for business logic, and keeping the state in a central store like NGRX. I would also use a linter and follow consistent coding standards to make the code easy to read and understand. Scenario 2, you have a component that needs to communicate with a parent component. What is the best way to achieve this? The answer is, the best way to achieve this is by using at output and event emitter. The child component can emit events using event emitter and the parent component can listen to these events using at output. By using this approach, the child component can communicate with the parent component without having to know about the parent component's implementation details. Scenario 3 You need to fetch data from an API and display it in an Angular component. How would you do this? The answer is I would use the HTTP client module provided by Angular to fetch data from the API. I would create a service to handle the HTTP requests and inject the service into the component that needs the data. Once the data is fetched, I would use data binding to display it in the component's template. Scenario 4 You have a large form with multiple fields that need to be validated. How would you approach form validation in Angular? The answer is I would use Angular's built-in validators, such as required and minlinth, to validate each form field. I would also create custom validators for more complex validation rules. To display validation errors to the user, I would use Angular's error handling mechanisms, such as the NGF directive and the form control status. Scenario 5 you need to implement lazy loading in an Angular application. How would you do this? The answer is, I would use Angular's lazy loading feature to load modules on demand. To implement lazy loading, I would create a separate module for each feature of the application and configure the routes to load the module on demand. I would also use the load children property of the Angular router to lazy load the module when the user navigates to the corresponding route. By using lazy loading, the application can load faster and improve the user experience.